Credit to this video goes to the YouTube channel JDSP. I saw it here first, so I want to give him credit, but he told me we have to give the shout out to the creators of this reshade preset, which is, in my opinion, a game changer for HDR analysis. And the creator was Lilium Endlessly Flowering, <laughs> okay? So what I'm talking about here is a reshade preset that allows you to analyze the HDR in real time, okay? So this is absolutely amazing. So I shared this video from JDSP, which is the first thing that I saw about this reshade preset, and he was analyzing Uncharted 4, and you can see here, link in the description of the video, so you can check this out. He was analyzing Uncharted 4, and you can see here, that the near black is okay on Uncharted 4. It just have a minor black level race in my experience. Fine tune dark areas, minus five is better. But for the most part, it's very good. You see, it's very good near black. This is the zero. The signal, the information is close to that. So no problem. But I analyze Cyberpunk, for example. Take a look at Cyberpunk. <laughs> this is atrocious. Okay, this is why Cyberpunk looks so washed out and horrible, okay? And it doesn't matter where I am looking on the game, this line here, you can see that there is a huge gap. It is not close to zero. That's why the game looks so washed out, okay? So this is awesome to analyze HDR. We can also see here the color gamut. Uh, the color space or what, what the game is trying, the colors of the game is trying to push. So, for example, here, looking at this uh, sign, we see that DCI-P3, 42%. DCI-P3, okay? And we see BT-2020, 0%. So, this game is not taking advantage of uh, the BT-2020 color space, okay? So, this is awesome. We see here the color spaces. We see here everything all the colors in real time so when we move on the game we see here the changes on everything so also by looking at this we can make sure that the game uh, tone mapping is the the one that we want so for example on this lgc one we want max ell 800 and we can see here the max ell 751 772 you know, 750, 500, depending on where you're looking at on the game. So this allows you to analyze the HDR much, much better. But not only that, with this reshade preset, we even have the options to tweak the HDR picture quality a little bit. So for example, here, I increase the brightness. That I change the tone mapping of the HDR on the game to make it brighter. So as you can see here, let me, let me show you. Let me actually create like a shortcut button so I can go back and forth here and show you the difference. You'll see. So now that I have a button, so you see now with this button, I'm gonna tweak and before and after with these tone mapping settings that I set on the game. So now I'm gonna show you how the brightness changes. Hopefully the camera can pick that up. So if I turn it on, you see it is brighter before after, before, after. So I am able to increase the brightness of the game without getting more clipping because the Max CLL is the same. So I'm not changing the Max CLL, so I'm just basically raising the mid-tones if I want to use something like black frame insertion. <laughs> so absolutely expect some new settings coming with this uh, tool. I'm definitely going to take advantage of this tool and I am interested now in doing some, making some comparisons between auto HDR, native HDR, this black level race. I am expecting to see auto HDR from Windows 11 to have the same black level race that I see here on Cyberpunk because we know that's the case with auto HDR on Windows 11. We have to lower fine tune dark areas minus 16 on this LGC1 or screen brightness 46. So this is absolutely awesome. So let me show you. This is the first, the first place where I saw something like this was on HDTV test. And he was using a reference monitor that cost like $30,000. So he was analyzing 
Miles Morales. And you can see here a similar graph that allows him to see in real time the tone mapping and adjust the settings accordingly. We also have these options on the reshade preset. We can see the heat maps and more. We can see like this, black and white for SDR. We can see uh, all the colors are, are going beyond Rec. 709. So we have all these options available. So we don't need a reference monitor, uh, which is absolutely amazing. Now the difference is on the reference monitor, when he tweaks the settings, let's say that he lowers the black level, he would see this graph changing and of course, on the game, I'm not going to see that graph changing because I lowered the black level of my TV. Uh, because the game is still the same. So I don't, I don't have a way to know for sure that I, am, you know, I have the perfect black level unless I tweak the black level with reshade. Maybe in that way, I can, I can see that graph changing. So that's something that I have to explore. And I am definitely going to look into it. So this is absolutely amazing if you have a pc definitely download this uh this reshade preset i'm gonna have the link in the description of the video if you want to download that but yeah i'm gonna wait until the night comes because right now it is very hot here as you can see i'm sweating like crazy and i was outside doing some exercise and running so that's why i'm a little bit sweaty too but yeah i'm gonna wait <laughs> <laughs> until the night comes and I take a shower so I can work on this but this is absolutely amazing check it out I'm gonna have a link in the description of the video so you can download this and play around with it and let me know what can you do with this what how can you take advantage of these settings we have all these Lilium settings HDR analysis inverse tone mapping SDR TRC fix Tone mapping adaptive, tone mapping. So it's many, 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 many options that I have to, um, you know, just read line by line and see what they do and test them and go back and forth. And they tell you here, you know, this is the default value. This uh, slightly expands the color space. This is, you know, many tweakings and things that we can do with this reshade uh, mod for the PC. So yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you have any questions.